to privatize them? What would be the usuli approach to this? Well, first of all, you, nobody can la darara wa la dirar. Nobody can take the law into their own hands. Blasphemy laws are judged by qadis. It's not the nobody can kill another. I mean, look, think about this. If I wanted to murder somebody, all I would have to tell the judge, oh, I heard him say something bad about the prophet, so I killed him. Oh, okay, you can go. What kind of, think about that. It's crazy. You can't, nobody can take the law into your own. And then the laws of Islam do not apply in the lands of, of other people. They can do whatever they want. Allah, Allah, kafeinakin mustahzeen. We will take care of the mockers. The Prophet ﷺ was mocked in Mecca. His Sahaba didn't go and kill anybody. Even when, when they were making fun of him and intending him, they wrote a poem and they used the name Mudhammam, which is the opposite of Muhammad. He said, look how Allah has removed their tongues from me. They're talking about some guy named Mudhammam and I'm Muhammad. You know, it's like he didn't give them any reality. It's like the, the, the have you ever seen that uh, surrealist painting that, that it's, it's a picture of a pipe and it says this is not a pipe right to make you think it's not a pipe it's just an image of a pipe it's not the pipe so anybody who draws a caricature and says that that's the prophet Muhammad they're lying and if you, if you bring me anybody from the ulama or the Muslims that have any two cents of brain to have them swear an oath that that's our prophet Allah to them they're, they're kafir. If they say that's the prophet, they're kafir. Not the prophet. It's some stupid thing from their own imagination. And unfortunately, some Muslims are painting those pictures for them by their behavior. They contribute the, the pens and the paper. 